Welcome back to Insight. As we've all experienced in the last several months, virtual health is an exploding industry. Jessica's here from the NIC to tell us how the Connected Health Lab can help us jump on this growing industry yes. because we all want that. You were saying uh, studies are showing that it's going to be like worth a lot of money in yes. the near future. The last one I saw was $200 billion industry in five years. That's uh, not very long no. <laughs> and a lot of money. So tell us yes. what the Health IoT Lab is. Yes, well at the Connected Health Lab what we do is we try to help people. We have all the resources to get people together for entrepreneurs, people with business buildings, people with products, get them together with the pieces that they're missing and help them get their products on the road or businesses built up. So we, and we were talking about this during our extended break. Um, we had more time to talk. Uh, how can you help us? How can the Connected Health help us, help us? Let's talk about first, if we want to be part of the industry, how can you help us? Sure, you just go to our website, sign up that you're interested in being a member, and I'll be sending out information on our upcoming webinar series that we have in the fall. You'll be invited to be part of our online community that is also starting up in the fall. And then you'll be kept informed of different things that are coming up and the newest things that are coming up in both virtual health and health IoT in general. And I think people didn't realize that they can become a member. Yes. I think people just thought we always tell them about the next uh, webinar or the next event that you mm -hmm. can go to, but they didn't know they could become a member. It's super easy. Uh, the nick.org slash IoT. IoT. Um, the, it's right there on your screen right now. Easy to become a member. But then also, even if we don't necessarily have these skills uh, to become a member or, or think we can, I can still become a member, but uh, don't think that we can become part of the industry. It's still good to become a member and get information about this because listen, yes. we are all going to interact with virtual health in the future and right now for that matter. Absolutely, it's not going away. It's a growing industry. We'll be talking about things that are needed in the upcoming years to improve it, how it's already improved. We're doing a webinar series in the fall. The first one is on September 25th, and it's going to be a panel discussion, basically virtual health overall, how COVID kind of pushed us mm -hmm. into it, the changes that were made on the fly. Quickly, very quickly. <laughs> yes, and what will be coming up in the future. And then we'll have several individual webinars on very specific topics. And then we're going to have another overall panel discussion on the 15th of October. So we should do this now. We should become a member now so that we can take advantage of uh, all the things that you're doing this fall, yes. too. And actually, it would be great if I, we're looking for feedback on what people want mm -hmm. on those individual ones in between. Like, what topics do people really want us to zero in on and they want to learn more information about? We're going to do one on what a patient should expect going into their first virtual health or their virtual health now versus when they went in two months ago. So we're gonna do things like that for the patient, but we'll also be doing things for entrepreneurs, people who are looking to get into the industry, and then just all the new and upcoming things that it's gonna be happening here very quickly. Well, I do think uh, virtual health is not the same right now as it was five months ago. No. Um, it has definitely changed and, and it, will change again in the next five months and in the next year. Yes. Um, I mean, obviously it's gonna grow. Do you think there are other changes coming in the future? I think they're gonna make it a lot easier for the patient to be at home. Mm. There's, um, there's gonna be devices that are coming out where you know, perhaps the doctor can look in your ear or look mm. in your child's ear to see if you have an ear infection. And then that makes it easier because then you're not taking your sick child sure. to the doctor's office. And you're also not taking a day off of work. Take your doctor, take your child into the doctor's office. It's all very fascinating. If you want to be <laughs> part of the Connected Health Lab, please go become a member today or go become a member anyway because it's all something we need. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Insight and go and register right now to become a member of the Connected Health Lab at the NIC. Org, or if you just want to be an entrepreneur at all, the NIC has fantastic resources. We'll see you tomorrow on Insight.